Do you have trouble getting your farrier appointment done in a reasonable amount of time? Let's go over a couple tips to make it go faster and easier. If it's been raining at your place and you're looking at your horse's feet and going, ew, I won't want to touch that, your farrier doesn't either. Get a towel or a hoof hook and just clean those on off before the farrier gets there. I used a towel on Thunder and on some of the other ones I used a hoof pick. You can use other things too, write your suggestions down in the comments, but make sure you clean off your feet. It's just common courtesy and it might even make your farrier like you a bit better. On the other side of this, if your horse has trouble picking up their feet, I would go ahead and clean out all their feet too, just pick them, uh, just to make it a little bit easier on your farrier and it'll make things go a little bit faster. Another tip is to have everybody be haltered and ready for the farrier caught inside their stalls or somewhere where you can easily grab them, pull them out, they're there. I know some people allow their farrier to go ahead and catch their horses and lead them in, let them out. Some people even aren't there whenever the farrier's bearing, I guess, but that's not really their job to do all that. So I like to have my horses haltered even occasionally I'll tie a leader up on the outside so it's just that quick to get them out to the farrier. It just makes everything go a lot faster and it's a lot easier for the farrier and yourself because everything's there and ready. Okay so impatient horses. This one is a little bit tricky to go about because everybody has them and everybody deals with them differently but give them something to do. A puzzle, hey have them up early inside of your farrier's lineup doesn't really matter all that much as long as they're not just sitting there waiting. It's really easy to just switch the narrative there. Even if your horse isn't impatient, sometimes it's a good idea to give them a puzzle or something just so that they're not bored. Number four is to make sure your horses are trained to pick up their feet and hold them in the positions that a farrier would. So whether that means you're holding them regularly, pick, cleaning them out every single day, does not matter if they have a problem, prepare for it and understand that there's gonna be a problem. It'll make everything go much faster if you know where the issues are and have a plan to stop or prevent it. One of the things I see pretty often is people not communicating with their farriers, and that's just a missed opportunity. This person has had lots of education in order to trim horses' feet. So if you're noticing your horse having a bit of trouble at the trot, canter, walk, whichever, then tell your farrier that and ask them, is there something going on with their feet? If you notice them limping a little bit more, ask whether or not there's an abscess, thrush, whatever. Just make sure you're communicating with your farrier, telling them your concerns, and listening when they tell you what to do for maintenance. That's all my farrier tips. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and comment if you want to see more. Bye!